Hello, this is a review of the Daisy Powerline 880 pellet and BB gun. The Powerline 880 is an inexpensive uh, pellet gun made by Daisy. Um, it's constructed of, mo <clears throat> of mostly plastic. The stock is plastic. The receiver is plastic. The foregrip is. The barrel is metal. I believe the trigger is also plastic, but uh, it is it is fairly sturdy plastic, and uh, it's not really cheap construction in my opinion. Now, this gun shoots .177 caliber pellets and BBs. However, I don't recommend shooting BBs because they say that this can destroy the rifling. It is, it is a rifled barrel, so it is uh, fairly accurate. Uh, the power this gun develops, this is a, well, this is a, a multi-pump pneumatic. This handle right here pulls down and you pump it up a maximum of 10 times. And uh, people that have checked the velocity of it say that the BBs travel about 800 feet per second and pellets a little over 700 feet per second, which is quite powerful for a low-priced gun. Um... To load BBs in it, I have to turn it over here for a second. I don't recommend using BBs, but if you want to, there's a little door you flip down right here, and that's where you put your BBs in. To load pellets, you flip this lever back, the bolt, and it exposes a chamber, and you drop your pellet in there, and then you push your lever forward, and then that loads around into the gun. Now your safety is right here. Right now it's on fire, and uh, if I would push it in from the other side, that would make it on safety. Um, this is a good gun for, say, just plinking in the backyard, maybe some... Uh, Small game hunting, such as rabbits and squirrels, birds. Uh, if you want to eradicate pests from your yard, like, say, some type of pest bird that uh, is scaring away the birds that you want around, you, this would probably be a, a pretty good choice for that. Um, as far as accuracy goes, I haven't shot it too much yet because I live in town and I have neighbors all around me. I also have a police station that's about a block and a half away from where I live. So I'm kind of hesitant to shoot it in my backyard because I, I don't know what our local ordinances are. I don't know if you're allowed to shoot a BB or pellet gun within city limits. I'm thinking we probably can't. Um, so I have shot it a few times in my basement and it is uh, fairly accurate. I will be doing an accuracy test of it and a power test of it at a later date and then I'll put those up for you so that you can see the type of power and accuracy that it does develop. Um, being as that it's so heavily constructed of plastic it is quite light it weighs only uh, just a little over three pounds. Uh, it comes with what you might want to call iron sights. This is your rear sight here and this is adjustable for windage and uh, vertically and your front sight is actually fiber optic it's kind of hard to see on camera I think but the fiber optic makes it kind of easy to see even in the lower light conditions so that's kind of cool it does have the dovetail rail on top so you could mount a scope on here in fact some versions of this gum come with a cheap daisy scope uh, I chose to get the version without a scope because I have some of my own scopes that I may try on here. Um, I actually have a high power scope that I might put on just for the fun of it and just to see what kind of accuracy I can get at a longer distance with it. Now, uh, I'm not a hunter, but on uh, YouTube there's several videos of people uh, talking about how they can use this to take out uh, rabbits, squirrels, birds, etc. Uh, some people claim they could take out like a squirrel at 30 yards or something like that. And 
seeing as how the it does develop quite a bit of power, I'm I'm thinking that it would be possible to do this, particularly if you give them a headshot. Um, it's also probably a good gun to use in a if it would be like a survival situation, like if the zombie apocalypse happens and you have to live in the wilderness and you have to hunt game to survive. You would be able to take rabbits and squirrels and birds with this gun. I think um, it's powerful and accurate enough to do that. <clears throat> now, the pros and cons of the gun. The pros are, the, for me, the low price, uh, the fairly good accuracy, the fairly high power, and the pretty much what I consider to be pretty good construction for the price. The cons are. I don't really like the way the fake wood stock looks, the, the fake brown color. Um, I intend on maybe painting mine. I'm thinking about painting it camouflage, like maybe like a snow camo with black and white and maybe some olive drab thrown in. I think that would look kind of cool. If I do that, I'll show the results. Um, I'll make a video of it if it turns out. The other con is that it's a little bit difficult to load, especially with pellets. Because you have to get your pellet in this little chamber here. And there's not a lot of room to maneuver your fingers around to get them in there. So if you got some big ass fat fingers, you may have some difficulty uh, dropping a pellet in. Some people have actually used tweezers to drop the pellets in, which I suppose that would work. Uh, but you'd have to have some tweezers handy. Um... The uh, only other con I noticed was on the rear sight, there's a screw that you loosen up for the windage adjustment, and it's a Phillips screw, and I wasn't able to get it loose uh, the couple times I tried with a small screwdriver. I, didn't, I must not have had enough leverage on it or whatever, and I'm not a fan of Phillips screws. I'd like to kick uh, whoever developed Phillips, Phillips screws in the nuts because... I just don't like them. They just tend the the screwdriver tends to slip out easier, and they tend to the grooves get worn out. So I'm not a big fan of that. I if I was if adjust if I had to adjust it a lot, I probably would replace that Phillips screw with a normal slotted screw. But um, the windage seems to be pretty pretty well on. It's just for the uh, vertical that I would need to adjust a little bit, and that's fairly easy to do. Just to slide that slide this back and forth with your thumb and it's uh, pretty easy to do the elevation um, overall I would rate the gun quite highly especially for the price paid uh, I don't think you're gonna do better for that money for you're not gonna do better in power and accuracy um, I, I before I bought this I considered a crossman gun the model 2100 but this gun is lower priced and has more power, so I decided to go with the Daisy. Um, you can pay anywhere from well under $100 to over $2,000 on a pellet gun, but for price paid, I think this is a pretty good value. Uh, one thing I have to stress uh, before I end the video is this is not a toy. This can be very dangerous if not handled properly. Uh, there's at least two kids that were killed by guns similar to this. So um, if you get this for your kid, make sure you properly supervise him and, and teach him how to use it safely and supervise him because uh, you, someone could be seriously injured or killed by this if not handled properly. But don't let that scare you off getting it. If, if properly handled, um, you know, it, it'll give you a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, if you have a nice, a big backyard and some nice neighbors, or if you live out in the country where you can just put up some targets at some long ranges and have fun, I think you'd have a great time with this gun. It'd, it'd, uh, it'd be a real lot of fun for not a lot of money. So overall, I, I rate it highly. And if you're looking for a uh, powerful and accurate uh, pellet gun at a low, low price, definitely check it out. As always, comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you for watching my video.